know what I... No, I know what you know. It's this month's Taco Fresh Merchman Update for you. <laughs> First of all, let's see what our patrons voted on last time. Last time. It's a Beer Bros Socks. I know you like it. I like it. Sticky. Since it was chosen by our patrons, that means you can go buy it at superbeerbros.com. So go over there and buy it unless, you know, you're a soft taco or something. <laughs> Look at what our patrons are voting on for the next limited edition merch. <laughs> Number one, first, is a Sonic Adventure poster by Jetpack Dragon. That's right, Jetpack. <laughs> it's a Super Beer Bros. Penny Pack. <laughs> it's uh, letting our Super Beer Bros artist Sean draw you whatever he wants on the cover of a Super Beer Bros sketchbook. <laughs> Must be a taco supreme because I'm feeling creamy. Taco phrase is creamy. So if you want the winning item, then go ahead and sign up for Patreon at patreon.com slash superbeerbros and you will get the winning item for free. That's right. Go there. I live there. It's cool. We hang out. Just vote and sign up and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Said I was going to do it, didn't you? You would like to see these episodes raw and uncensored in their purest hard rock NSFW form, then subscribe to our Patreon at any level. We did our best with the YouTube safe versions. Sometimes the gameplay will sound a bit funky as we dissected out the game's music. Enjoy. What's up, y'all? Hey. My name's Brett. I'm on the sticks for Jet Set Radio. That's Alex. I'm uh, on the I'm on the background. I'm on the side. Well, you're not just there, dude. You're this is you. That's me. I'm hey, 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 I got no power. <laughs> you got a lot of graffiti. That's why the arrows on my shoes are pointing down, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be overweight That's how in a couple feeling. years. Crippling <laughs> 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 depression. It's my last kickflip ever. I mean, backflip. I don't even know what it is. I don't skate. Get out of my face. <laughs> Who do you think you are, the fucking principal? Oh my god, you were a little <laughs> shit I was pissed when I was a kid. I gotta get some paint. Is this a fight? Yeah, it's a fight. It's this game's equivalent of a fight, which was good enough for me as a kid. Is there like a like four player just this game? I'm not sure. That being said, I know that there was like because this franchise hasn't had one after the second one, and even that second one's like hard to find nowadays on modern systems. I know that there's at least two games that are like this, spiritual successes and shit, and I really want to play with The new one know? is uh, like about to drop that's like actually a Sega one, or there's there's an actual Sega one coming, and there's also the the baseball fighting game guys are finally just actually making a Jet Set game. <laughs> that's the one I'm talking about, the Lizard, what are they called? Lethal League? Lethal League, yeah. I had to, I had to like process that one for a second. That that game was fun as shit. Wait a minute, wasn't this guy's paint stats like off the charts? Yeah, he's the paint man. So then, why is he only carry fifteen? Maybe he only needs fifteen. Oh shit. Okay. Maybe he's like, boom, you're dead. Headshot. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, Ted. Are you, what is this? What, what are you saying, Ted? Sorry, I didn't record that. I was talking to somebody else. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. I, Jesus. Oh! Ooh. Oh. Yo, the song, these is, barrels. the song is absolutely demented. Yeah, Super Brother is one of the most uh, memorable songs in the soundtrack, for sure. I remember being a kid and making fun of this. Who is this? Deerhoof? No fucking clue, baby. Oh, there's a way to like. I remember there's a way to get the drop on these guys behind them when they're down in that spot, and I don't remember what it is. Young me is about to jump the poison jam gang. Wait a minute, is this it? Oh, got him, bitch. Oh, wait, oh, hold on. secrets abound. 
Yeah. Do you have to go back and get that again if you lose? I don't think so, but I, we're good. We're not going to lose this. That's some 20 year old knowledge for your ass, though, huh? That shit is always wild to me. Like, they, sorry, just, put out, they, they just put out the Genesis games on the Switch recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, like, started playing, like, Shinobi 3 first time in, like, at least a decade. At least. And I'm just, like, finding all the secrets. Just, like, I just know it. I just know. Yeah. I didn't even know that I knew it. There's. It's, it's weird when you realize that the brain rarely really wipes it's like a computer man yeah. it's, it rarely wipes things completely yeah and uh, uh what was it i was looking at uh i was getting nostalgic for some real ghostbusters toys yeah <clears throat> and uh so i decided to look up a video of someone who has like a real collection and he had like two figures that were like super it's like they're, they were like you know way for real ghostbusters figures right uh -huh. they were like un classic universal i'm sorry hold on I just want to take care of this guy. He's done. He's done. Got him. Uh, they're like classic universal monsters that the Ghostbusters, like, you know, for them, the little enemies, right? Right. And two of them was like the Hunchback and uh, the Wolfman. Oh, my God. I'm too good at the game. I'm going to get the drop on him again. Uh, the Hunchback and the Wolfman, I saw them and I'm like, oh, my God. I had those as like a two-year-old. Hadn't th thought about him or seen him in 30 years. But isn't that weird how your brain is like, uh huh, connection made? I know this made. guy. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's fascinating. Come oh. here. Come here. Like just oh. all, the, all the dormant thoughts and memories. It's yeah, insane. Yeah, the brain's weird. It doesn't yeah. throw things away, it just like turns the lights off. You know? What's oh, yeah. oh, you got the drop on yourself. I played myself. What's the name of that Hitchcock movie where he's skiing down the thing and he freaks out because he like remembers when he kicked that kid onto the fence? Remember that? No, it was lines? Vertigo? I don't think it's Vertigo. I can't remember. It's like black and white. I can't remember which one it is. It's like mm. it's like he's he freaks out when he's skiing because it's like vertical lines and white and like he re remembers that like when he was young, he like slid down a banister and like kicked a kid onto it onto like a onto like the top of a fence. Ouch. And he just, like, it all comes flooding back to him, like Ratatouille style. Yeah, that shit sounds like trauma. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's like trauma behaves like any memory. Like, yeah. All, like, you know, in the same way that trauma can come flooding back, so too can. Yeah, yeah. So I guess what we're describing there is repressed trauma. Yeah. Like the moveset for T Hawk from Super Nintendo. Oh, trauma. Yeah. Well, that's uh, 360s. How do I do them as a kid? Like it's just in there somewhere. Hold on, this guy is the leader. If you take him down, the whole gang is done. Probably because I already took down the rest of the gang. But like, you're technically correct. I mean, does three men a gang make? It can. I think like, that's, uh, like a wild the west gang, style? green gang from uh, uh, Powerpuff Girls. Remember them? Yeah. Yeah, but that's oh, no, like, they were five. They were five strong. But that's still that's still like one of those like I guess if you're thinking about like like the outlaw type of gang, like a like a cowboy style. Yeah. Then, then it could be smaller, but I feel like a street gang, if you're three, you're just like a couple friends hanging out. That's true. I guess they went through the you know, the steps of getting weird lizard boots and gloves. Do we think those Frog are oven mitts? things? Definitely. Do you think those are the loot crate Thanos mitts that got destroyed in the microwave? Or whatever? <laughs> Ugh. Only need one more. Shout outs ah. to anybody who got that uh, that infinity glove uh, from loot crate. That was a hilarious thing. Hey! I don't think we're jetting on that one. Maybe you are though. Oh, but see, that's not bad. No, you can't we feel did bad fine. about nitro. That's a sick word. We did. <laughs> That's tight. Who loves? Who doesn't love to say nitro? Hmm. We'll leave your mama gawking and your daddy walking. We're Tokyo. Whoa. <laughs> what did you do to my dad? Nothing. He left you. He left? Mm. They're in the grave for good? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is that Racer X? Mm-hmm. 
There's an actual plot in this game, apparently. It's similar to, like, the plot of, like, Indiana Jones, weirdly? <laughs> so are these all... Where should we be? Are these all minigames now, or is Love Attack just, like, the next gang? It's the next gang. You remember the Love Shockers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever they are. We should are. try Mew again. Let's do Mew. Ooh, phone call from Spamrisk. Let's go. I miss that guy. <laughs> hey, bro. I am a prince. Whoa. They, like, appear in a puff of pink smoke? That's badass. Yeah. I All like right. that we you're kind of themed as, like, the chick that beats up on the Love Shockers. What do you mean themed as? They look like they're from the same manga. I see what you're saying. What if Mew used to be a love shocker? It's more than she's got going on for her right now. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like, that is a nice uh, backstory you've got for her. It's more than uh, anything the game has ever provided. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game's just kind of like cat style. <laughs> you know. <laughs> meow, meow. You know what I'm saying? That's her thing. That's enough. <laughs> and they're not wrong. Sega's, yeah, the, king. Like, Sega's yeah. the king of just... Literally all you need. And that's hey. Sega Rally has three tracks. Like Come on, baby. Uphill, goddammit, uphill! You look like you Dude. should be going three times faster than her. I know, she looks so relaxed. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm gonna get She just looks like someone in Fuck. San Francisco like heading to work. Ugh. I hate that the Recenter camera button is the same as the paint button. Somehow she reversed me. Incredible. She like crossed you up. <laughs> yeah, the fuck she. It's one way rail. Dude, uh, this is the but most the, the, dangerous. The camera button I've ever is seen. the same as the uh, uh, as the paint button. So like when I'm trying to spray someone continually, it just looks like I'm a fucking spaz. Is there you know like what I mean? another? Is there another one? Yeah, there might be. But then we wouldn't get that authentic, genuine, legit, classic Jet Set Radio feeling. Classic Jet Set. Oh! oh. So long, everyone. <laughs> oh, shit. The real strats, bitch. Dude, Come that here. worked out. <laughs> the real strats, bitch. Skitching, motherfucker. Come here. Oh, man. I need to lose some weight. I need to get in shape. This is... How do you speed up? I'm literally pressing the turbo button. Oh, I got juked. Stupid. Oh, what? What? dude, she did the exact same shit to you again? Oh. Ugh, I don't feel so hot. Ugh. What is that made of? This Concrete? Way? Okay. Are you dead? I'm okay. Just San Francisco's kicking my ass. Jap Japanese San Francisco. San Francisco. There it is. That's literally the name of the setting for Big Hero 6. Hmm. I remember reading that back in the day. Yeah. Got him. I was tantalized. We only got one more, baby. Is this is this her? No, she's re no, she's, she's resting. She got too sticky. Okay. Starbucks, well, but not Starbucks. I like this stage a lot. Is this somebody is here just chilling somewhere waiting for you to find them, or is there like are they like skating? Yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Wow, full health. Okay. We got this. Clearly, whatever path this person takes is the path that we don't take, usually. I'm a spaz, oh. I'm a spaz! Whoa, the jukes on this woman! Oh! Dude, oh, this, okay. this center camera situation is no blames. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh-huh. Wow! Nailed it. We jet? Got him. We jet style? Oh, nitro style. In, in, <laughs> sorry, in, guys. In, I'm, a, I'm a B student at best. In some ways, nitro is better than jet. Aesthetically, it's better. Mm, I'll give you that. Jet is the top one because of the name of this game, and that's it. Martians if this was... Earth, oh! This was all about words, Nitro would be at the top, and you know it. Radio, Jet Set Radio! One of the fallen love shockers was holding a golden rhinoceros bag. What? Oh. The rhinos are a gang of ruthless Asian killers. Oh. Rupert has it. 
They're the ones who kidnapped Poison Jam 2, the Rokoku group, run by oh. strange Oh my god. Goji Rokoku. It's, it's, it's like a guy who's Starsky and Hutch mixed together. Rokoku Project 2000 <laughs> is Goji's big city improvement plan to increase productivity and prosperity. They got a big Digimon on the front of their building? Of Tokyo, he says. If you ask me, it's just a bunch of bull. Them guys have been erasing a lot of GG graffiti. Are the GGs gonna sit back at the Golden Rhinos? Okay. Project, they really are. He's just really just dangerous to giving us the backstory. But you gotta give back what you take, right? Yeah, this one from Gang Warfare to like fight the man real fast. I'm like listening to this on the radio, like, what? Are we in danger? Oh. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Yo, you got that it's big the, yen chain. <laughs> it's me and the goth girlfriend that I never had in high school. But there was a seat for her. Yeah, I always left space. Always, always occupy, or always absent. And she would like magic, and Jenkins. she would like emo, and she would be cool. And her favorite movie would be American Pie 2. All right, so we got some two dudes trying to join the game. Coin? Well, Coin, they said they're trying to help Coin. Coin is not here. I know, just Coin is just like a weird name. Well, I don't know if you know this, but we're in a future past world with uh, jet skate kids. Yo, is she the fastest? No, she's the, the worst character, obviously. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. Is this, we're I just miss. playing skate? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's bad. I this is not gonna. Wait, 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 boost. wait. Boost. No, it's not gonna work. No. Where's my nitro? Let's try this again. Uh huh. Ugh. Nailed it. Clean. Oh, she's fucking Madonna-ing on us, dude. Oh, oh, oh. She's got the moves. I like the I lipstick. Got mad skills. Boat. Oh, that's it. She only had to do one trick. Okay, she must like her. <laughs> Yo. Oh, it's another race. A race where too though. Uh so this is the bus terminal area. So does the red mean that's the way he's gonna go? I think the red is like the secret tunnel way. Like if you just go straight there, what? I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out. All right. We're going to, because I think the area where we're in is the bus terminal. And then I think the middle area is, yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle area is like the, 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 the playground. Yeah. And then past that is where we just were in San Francisco. So I think we're going to end up in San Francisco. Okay. Oh my God. This character. Could you imagine if you saw a guy built like this, moving like this? I would literally any any whoa. That was freaky. It looked like you were driving towards a wall and then just like that was I, like a map painting. Yeah, yeah. Bugs Bunny. I'm I'm telling you, I would whip out my camera any any time I see anybody doing anything, <laughs> even just upsetting the natural balance of society. I don't care if it's cool or. Disgusting. I'm there with my camera to film it. So he wants to go through Ooh. the canals. Yes, he does. I'm, I, yeah, I'm definitely following him for this first time yeah. out. Also, he's just stunting on me. He wants to like Terminator too. He's just being nice, you know. He wants you in the gang. He probably needs all the I help he can get. Probably sees I feel this like guy. I jump forward faster than you scared. Than I run. Yeah, I think you're right. Weird. Oh, oh shit. Awkward, awkward. Oh, okay, that worked. Yeah. Hey, where's yeah. the paint, though? That's a great question. And where even do you tag? It's yeah, it's down that hill. So I'm gonna take a right right here. Oh shit. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Clean, clean, clean. Okay. Do we need all this paint? Doubt it. Okay. Nailed it. Nice. Nice. I think the bucket hat jumper. is a weird look. 
<laughs> but Leo, that's classic shit, man. Yeah. Ted, did you say something? Oh yeah, fastest jumper joins the crew. Hmm. I guess we're their GGs now. Cool, we got two new characters. He's just <laughs> two months ago. This is me if I had all the confidence in high school. And like a weird bucket hat. My turf. Oh, My oh, they're from America. Me, Cube, and Coin used to own the Bantam Street area in this city. I can't believe they got Jurassic 5 in this game. Yo, we're demonetized as fuck right now. That's that's the vibe, though. Until recently, that is. Someone been going around painting these ugly signs all over Grind City. It's so ugly, I can't even call it graffiti. Strange so ugly. and bizarre <laughs> symbols. All of our old graffiti has been covered up by these horrific signs. And on top of that... They just are mad because it looks ugly? Kidnap. Yeah. Oh, but they also oh, kidnap coin. That's right. That's uh, mostly the ugly graffiti. Ever since the emergence of these paintings, strange things been happening in this city, too. Unfamiliar so. black cars and men in black suits are hanging Unfamiliar black cars. Wait, He's so quiet. Here at Grind Square, always this color. There's definitely something wrong here. I smell something fishy going on. I love that. Oh! You want to do like a little past mission? Look at him. Look at him back there. Look how small his eyes are. Are you talking about coin? Yeah. Do you think Coin is up to something like Cypher was up to something? Like, they're gonna get there and Coin's gonna be like eating steak with the fucking lizard man or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know where all the fucking punk gangs are. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Dude, oh, look at God. Him. He looks like, uh, what's his name from Zelda? Thank you! Oh, the beetle? Yeah, exactly. Are these unlocked? You can't. You picked up a couple, right? Yeah. Friggin' oh wow, this is kind of cool. That's clean. That looks like a real tag. Oh, that's the. Oh, Cube is sick. Yeah, Cube is the girl I would have wanted to date back then, but now like I never would have had the chance. What do you think? Should we pick this one? I think it looks sick. All right. What about this large one? You want to pick the large? What do we got that's new? Oh, that's Ooh, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Okay. All right, Ted, you want to pick the extra large? Yeah. Uh, it's this one still, right? All right, <laughs> let's move on. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of sick. Oh, shit. Yo, that might be the one. You mean this one or this one? The, the, the darker one. The one that looks like fucking Japanese rapping. <laughs> looks you like know, Japanese like rap Bone Thugs album or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would listen to the hell out of that. It'd be crazy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can like, I like feel the the energy coming off of it. Well, uh, that one's really dark and cool, so I'm gonna change this one. I'll pick something else. Yo, yo, Buck Nutty. Ew. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this combo. Combo. <clears throat> Next time on Beard Bros, I, I think we're going into the past. Oh, yeah. And I think, yeah, I remember this now. We think we're like, because everything here has been decidedly Japanese. I think we're going to America next time around. Awesome. Cannot wait for that. Yeah. What about, but you got to tell them about a song real quick. Yeah, let's talk about it. So check it out. I've been really into this guy, uh, Jonathan Richman, lately. Um, and it got me on this like 70s kick um, mm -hmm. and because I watched I watched the uh, Anthony Bourdain movie which is called Roadrunner which is this song by Jonathan Richmond and I was like oh 70s 70s and then I saw that Edgar Wright's new movie that he made uh, yeah, not, yeah. not last night in Soho but like the like oh yeah 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 he made a documentary about Sparks the the Sparks brothers um, right right and I want to see that uh, I know that they're in my consciousness right now because I'm like on the 70s kick and they're like popular again because of Edgar Wright. But I want to shout out a song by Sparks off their album Introducing Sparks, which is not their first album. It is a ironic title uh, from 1977, a song called Those Mysteries by mm. Sparks. And uh, this is a song that used to be the intro song to a podcast that I used to listen to called The Mystery Show that I really liked. Um and uh, 
it's just a good little ballad about mysteries and it has good lyrics so if you're into like a sort of whimsical sort of 70s rock kind of glammy vibe I, I recommend it and I recommend Sparks in general because they have a really long and interesting career where they're completely uncompromising so pretty interesting and watch that movie too uh, watch the movies The Sparks Brothers on Netflix by Edgar Wright. It's a good documentary. And y'all got a lot of recommendations to go home with. So y'all, don't bother. You guys got stuff to do, okay? I'm bursting with love for Sparks. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.